My name is Jacek Matulewski and I will present the results of the experiment performed together with Mateusz Patera on the gaze text entry system modified by the use of super vowel. During the previous conference we presented the gaze text entry system shown in the upper figures. We extended it by using the super vowel mechanism now, which aims to reduce the number of gaze buttons without lowering the input speed. Its idea is to replace all buttons corresponding to the vowels with one we call super vowel and which is represented by a diamond sign. In the previous study we examined three methods of text entry based on dwell time key acceptation, a standard keyboard with the QWERTY button layout, the molecular keyboard with keys varying their sizes depending on the probability of being the following letter, in the world, and the two-step keyboard in which one selects a group of letters first and only in the second step the right one. The experiment showed that the standard keyboard is the most efficient despite the largest number of typos. Similar keyboards was, were tested in a current experiment but modified to allow the super vowel. It should be emphasized that the super vowel is included not only in the text input, but also in the word suggestion mechanism. The word search engine takes into account super vowels suggesting words with vowels in its place according to the probability of their occurrence in the Polish language corpus. When considering the effect of the super vowel on text entry, we suppose it increases the speed of gaze text input for each of three methods, or simply the gaze keyboards, due to the reduction of buttons search time and the increased size of the buttons. It is our first hypothesis. For similar reasons, we also suspect that using the super vowel will reduce the number of errors, which we determine by using the backspace key. It is the second hypothesis. It should be noted that the QWERTY layout used in the standard keyboard differs from the two others, as the respondents know it well from the everyday use of physical computer keyboards. Therefore, the third hypothesis says that the uh, super vowel can act as a distractor in this case, and its benefits may be less pronounced. We also suspect that due to its similarity to physical computer keyboards, the standard gaze keyboard, I mean those with the QWERTY button layout, will be appreciated the most by users. In contrast, the same keyboard with the super vowel feature will be rated much worse because this change will be treated as a disturbance. It is our fourth hypothesis. And the last one, for the other two keyboards, the use of super vowel will be more appreciated. Good morning. My name is Mateusz Patera. I tell you about the method and the result of this study. The research design including the plates, procedure, equipment and materials was the same as described in the previous paper. The only difference was that the software was modified to introduce the super vowel button. The study aims to quantitatively evaluate to usability of the use of the super vowel on three methods of gaze-based text entry, considering the input speed and the number of errors as objective measures and the result of the S US questionnaire. The tests took place in the soundproof cabin with standardized lightning. Before starting the actual research, the tutor presented their brief description, taking into account particular methods, and the eye tr tracker was calibrated. All participants performed the same task, entering five pseudo sentences each comparing three words rad randomly selected from the Polish dictionary. The use of the super vowel mechanism made the fastest text entry method, that is the standard keyboard even slightly faster. But the difference is not statistically significant. The input speed increase was more prominent for the other two keyboards, but still only by several percent. Hence, it may be concluded that the use of super vowel affects that the text entry speed and thus. The hypothesis number one has been formally confirmed, but the change is not large enough to be of practical importance.
the super vowel mechanism lowered the number of typos in all the types of Gates keyboards, but it was most prominent in the case of the two-step keyboard, for which the number has dropped by half. There is no such improvement with the rep repeated use of the backspace key, except for the molecular keyboard, for which it dropped by 71%. This supports the hypothesis number 2 and particularly the hypothesis number 3. The results of the SUS questionnaire, that is the system usability scale, show that in terms of its usability the standard keyboard achieved the highest rating, 80 points on the 100 point scale, which corresponds to grade B. The second is two-step keyboard, which usability score is slightly lower and equals 77.2 points, also grade B. In comparison, the study participants perceived the molecular keyboard as significantly less user-friendly. Only 59 points, that is grade D. The variants with the super vowel mechanism enabled obtained slightly lower usability scores. For the standard and two-step keyboards, it's about 75 points. In contrast, the ratings of the molecular keyboard were slightly higher, about 60 points. Additionally, two factors in the SUS results can be distinguished, usability and learnability. The molecular keyboard had the lowest rating in both categories. Still, it seems that while it is difficult to use, it is not difficult to learn, also if super vowel is enabled. It is also interesting to check the relationship between usability and the gaze text entry speed. The correlation coefficients show that the gaze keyboard generally received better ratings from the users who could enter the text more rapidly. It is evident in the case of the experimental molecular keyboard, which also had the poorest rating, but a trend suggested by the correlations is evident for nearly all keyboards. Furthermore, the participants' continuous reaction confirmed these findings and proposed suggestions for future development. The most popular objection was a lack of auditory feedback after entering the super vowel, while the synthesizer gave the sound related to other letters. The super vowel button was not well accepted since it modified the well-known arrangement of the buttons, particularly on the standard keyboard, resulting in negative feedback from participants. It is an additional confirmation of our fourth hypothesis. As an exception, the function was priced in the case of the two-step keyboard, which agrees with the fifth hypothesis. The use of the super vowel function enhanced the text input speed in all of the tasks conducted on all of the keyboards examined, especially in the case of non-standard systems. However, this impact was not statistically significant in the case of the standard keyboard. Regarding the second hypothesis, it may come as a surprise that the activities done on the standard keyboard with the well-known QWERTY layout had the highest number of mistakes, while in the case of non-standard keyboards, fewer mistakes were recorded. The fact that the participants transferred their abilities from the physical keyboard operated with fingers to the gaze-controlled keyboard presented on the screen is the simplest explanation of this fact. Thus, they completed the work fast and made more mistakes, possibly because they controlled their eye movement less carefully. The super vowel mechanism reduced the amount of single and multiple errors. The third hypothesis regarding the significant negative effect of the QWERTY layout on the number of errors made was also confirmed. The findings for single usage of the backspace key reveal that more mistakes were made on keyboards with the QWERTY layout. To summarize, we have presented and discussed the modification to the gaze dwell time keyboards by introducing a super vowel. However, the modification's primary purpose, which was an increase of the input speed, was not fully achieved. Nevertheless, the use of super vowel has another advantage, a significant decrease in the number of instantly corrected typos for two-step keyboard and a decrease in the number of typos corrected late on the molecular keyboard. Thank you very much.